everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Katie and today we are doing a unboxing and a try on portion haul thing of Glamlet. So Glamlet is actually my favorite makeup brand. I know, bold statement, but it is actually my favorite makeup brand. It was the very first palette that I bought that wasn't like from a store. It was like an indie brand. Like I saw the piece of palette and I like had to have it and it's in like every single video almost, like every single makeup video, which by the way, I do other videos other than haul videos, and makeup is a passion of mine, and I know everybody's just like, oh my god, I love your makeup in my haul videos, and I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I do makeup too, I have makeup videos that YouTube only like flushes out my haul videos, which I really appreciate because I do really love fashion too, but makeup is also a passion of mine, so... If you wanted to, I'm going to have a playlist down below of all of my makeup videos, so if you want to watch, and if you want to request anything, please leave it down in the comments down below. Leave it just later. I'm so excited! Oh, look at it! Look at it, look at it, look at it! Oh, look at this! It's like Christmas. <laughs> Donut. And then they have like a little card thing that normal brands have, but I love Glamless. Also, it's my little fan right now. Through food inspired makeup, I'm creating this judgment free zone in the makeup industry to let others know it's okay to love yourself as you are. Makeup doesn't have to have one size fit all. Yes, I agree. That's why I love her. She's not like a, I don't know, because like some makeup just gets really snobby and elitist. So I'm really glad that Glamlet has like a free zone to just be you. Oh look at it! So cute! It's so cute! Oh look at the little box! I still have the uh, the cake palette box because it's so cute. It's going to be great for if you go to like Disney or something. So there's like jewels on it. It's so pretty! Oh my god! Look at how pretty! It's like one of those like 90s. Like, like, the, not the, like, the makeup thing, but also, like, the telephone, but it looks like that 90s, like, toys that I grew up with, which I am so about. This is supposed to be a highlight. I'm gonna put it on top of my other highlight. <gasps> oh. So, I have my ring light here. It's doing different colors, because Glam Light does such great colors. I'm trying to, like, do different colors, so I guess I should switch, huh? I bought their like glosses, but I always wanted it, but I never justified buying them. But I got strawberry margarita, which is beautiful, and then I got coconut margarita. I'm a very big margarita fan myself. In fact, for two years, I actually made uh, margaritas because I used I worked at the uh, football stadium, and I used to make margaritas for two years. So I am a very big margarita fan. So I love it, love it. There's more bubble wrap. <laughs> I love it. Mm. More lip things, more lip things. So I got the bundles. I got the cinnamon, the cinnamon roll, the cinnamon roll. And then I got the pecan pie. And then I love their food name, s'mores. I got hot chocolate. If these all smell like this, I'll open them on a second. Caramel frappe, donuts, lip glaze. Perfect for the donut palette. I bought it. And then there's another little one. She's so cute. We got more because I also got tequila because you can't have margarita without tequila. I don't think I'm gonna, but yes, I want it. And then churro. Love this churro. Like you don't see churros like ever. Churros are like the best thing known to man. Um, so yeah, churro. I had to have churro. I love churros. Love them. Love it. Love it. All right, we got some more. We got more. You wanted just the donut palette, girl. You need to get this. So, unfortunately, this palette, which is the street taco palette, which I really, really wanted, it's in the foodie box. And I really, and I bought this before the Foodie Box came out. Street palette. So I didn't buy the Foodie Box. 
because of that. If not, I would have bought the foodie box and I would have got all the goodies in the foodie box. But I have this palette and I'm so excited because I live in Arizona and there is a lot of good Mexican food and street tacos are one of them. Like if you if you live in a place that has some street tacos, you know they're like the best, most authentic Mexican food comes from street tacos. And then the colors are exactly what you would find. It's a very, very small palette as well. But again, it's not even that expensive. I think it's only like 20, something like that. So it's a really good palette for travel. If you wanna get late night, if you wanna go, oh my God, it looks like a street dog. Ah, look at it, and it has a little mirror too. I love these mirrors. I love these colors. I love these colors. These group colors are amazing. I especially love the greens and I love the purples and these colors. The brown colors, you guys know already on my channel, I don't really gravitate towards brown, but uh, their browns are also really, really great for if you're doing face painting. They are really, really pigmented for that as well. So if you're into if you, if you're into body painting and you need a good shadows to set your paint with or shadow with, they got you. We got the paint palette. Now I wanted this palette back when it came out but I did not have the money and now I had the money and I wanted to treat myself because I thought that I deserved it I thought that I deserved it so another little thing I love that they do this and they like give you a little thing from the CEO and they like she is so personal okay this looks exactly like like a paint box like when you were a kid and you got like those paint box thingies or like the ones from the infomercials and you like asked your mom and dad to get like that. Yeah, I mean, for real. I mean, as you know, I'm a big fan of the 90s and um, yeah. So I really, really appreciate the packaging. <sighs> so great. I'm so excited. Let's open her up. Oh, and jizzle. Look. Oh, it has a little brush. Oh. <gasps> That's so cute. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. Woo. Look at it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. Like, it looks like, like paint. It looks like paint. And you can hold it really much like this. Like, if you are a makeup artist and you have to use this for work, this is really handy so you can just go like that. I love, I love the feel of this like wood kind of thing going on. I really appreciate the packaging. But yeah, it's so good. Like it's so great. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. I got a meal. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about it. Look at it. It's so nice. Look at it. <gasps> we gotta give some love to our lip products. You guys want to see what these things actually smell like. So the first one that I unboxed was s'mores. And I have to say, these packaging, like, the packaging is, like, gorgeous. Like, it is, that is, that is, that is s'mores, and that looks beautiful. Like, look at the box. And then look at this lip. It's so pretty and sparkly, and I love it. Of course, always cruelty-free and vegan as well. It smells. Oh. So the next one that I unboxed off-camera was the Coconut Margarita Gloss. And can we just die a little bit? Like, it's just so pretty. Like, I am, I am just, oh my god. Like, and it smells exactly like what it sounds. And it sounds exactly like the coconut margarita, which I've had. Like, it's, oh, it smells so good. I'm going to put this one on right now. It has, like, inflex of, like, pink and purple, and it is just so pretty. Like, you can, so, kind of, like, I don't know, like, I'm trying to, like, keep my hair up but down. I don't know. I mean, I, I have long hair. It, it's a struggle, as you guys all know, if you have long hair. So the next one we're unboxing is Pecan Pie, and it is great. It is pretty, pretty pink. Just love it. All right, does it smell? It does. It smells exactly like Pecan Pie. The next one is Cinnamon. I think Cinnamon? Or cinnamon? Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. It's a cinnamon roll. Like cinnamon roll, cinnamon mouth roll, cinnamon mouth, cinnamon bolt. I don't know. It looks like cinnamon or cinnamon. Is that how you say cinnamon? I don't know. I don't know. I'll look it up in the comments. I don't know. Tell me.
Oh. I love that. I love that. I'm on a diet currently, so this is the, the closest I can get to these sweets is having them on my lips. So, yes. And then the next one is strawberry margarita, which is actually my favorite type of margarita. Oh, that is just sexy. I love it. That's it. That's it, mommy. That's it. Okay, right, so next one is hot chocolate lips. Oh, come on. So, wow, look at the applicator. This is a nice nudie lip, which I'm excited for because I don't. Cause I did, with the thing with big, bold, like, eyes is you always want to have, like, like a, you don't have to, but like most of the time it's easier to have like a neutral lip so everyone's just like, bam my eyes. I mean you could have bam, 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 but for me personally I want people that compliment on my eyes and not the fact that my lips are misshapen. I want tequila because tequila is not a sweet scent and it, it, tastes, it tastes and it smells pretty specific. I have had many tequila in my day. It is my poison. Oh, it is just a nice clear gloss with gold and flex. Alright, let's let's smell it. I was just like coconut. It's just so it still smells good. It still smells good. I don't know if it smells like that. And it doesn't smell like like alcohol tequila, so you don't have to worry about it smelling like smelling like alcohol. So people aren't gonna like kiss you and be like Drinking, or like you go to work and like people smell your lip gloss and they're like, Are you drinking? No, I don't, I'm not drinking. Thank you very much. So, caramel, caramel frat pet. So, it's another like nice nudie color, nice nudie to tootie. And they are different, these two are different. The hot chocolate and caramel frat, they are different. You can see them right next to each other, they are different as well as s'mores and cinnamon roll. They they do they are very different. Oh we're gonna we're gonna do donuts first. And then we're gonna do churro because I love churros. Love 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 churros. Oh my god, I'm not be able to do churros. Oh so this is a beautiful gloss. This is the donut glaze. It is a beautiful, like, pinky brown with gold inflex. It's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. And I love the packaging. The packaging is everything. Everything that I'd like to hope for and more. Okay, finally! Oh, wait, no, I didn't do a smell test. Smell! It does smell like donuts. It does smell. It smells like the dough of donuts. It does smell really nice. And these are also very slight smells. Finally, churros. So it has a mirror on it, like it, you can probably see the camera, but like it has a mirror on it. I've never seen that before. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's the smell. That's it. I've never seen a mirror on a, lip, on a lip before. That is so intuitive. I love that. I really love the street taco and I really... What is calling my name in this palette is the Ripolo Rocco, which is red chicken, I believe. I took French, not Spanish. I live in Arizona. You would think that I would know Spanish by living in it, but I don't. I have friends who speak Spanish, and I'm... <laughs> and they're the ones who, you know, usually speak it, and they don't really teach you because they're like... I, I had a boyfriend who actually said this to me. I asked him, how do you say this in Spanish? Because he spoke Spanish. And he was just like, it would take too, lo it would take too long to teach you. <sighs> he thinks I'm stupid. That's what that boyfriend thought of me, for sure. I mean, he did it as like a joke, but still, it was pretty mean. So we're putting this Ripolo Rocco in like the kind of like the outer crease because I do want to put like another color here. So I'm just kind of like packing that on like right here and it's working beautifully as always. It's just beautiful, beautiful shade. Like it is just so 
pretty. I am so in love with it. Oh my god, so pretty, so pretty. So yeah, we're going to do a street taco eye here, and then we're going to do the paint palette over here. Um, so then I am going to go into the... Oh my god, I'm thinking I'm going... I'm going to go here and do this like really big burst of color, and we're going to go with Al Pasteur. Um, or Al Pasteur, sorry, Al Pasteur, and which is this color right here. So we're going in between these two, and I'm going to just put this on the inner part here. No. Another thing that Glamlet Shadows, rarely any kickback. Rarely any kickback, and also they don't, like, there's no fallout. And I use the cheapest brushes, so that's not a problem. So I think that that's something that Glamlet, pe people don't talk about Glamlet Shadows enough. I'm just going into a normal fluffy brush, and I'm going in between those two. Look at that. That is pretty. That is really, really pretty already. And, like, honestly, with Glamlet Shadows, all you gotta do is just, like, pop on one of their, um, shimmer shades, and they are good to go. Like, that. that's it. Like, it took, like, what is it? Two, three minutes to do this. It took three minutes to do this. Maybe a little bit more with the, um putting your base on and stuff but three minutes to do an outstanding eye look so we are gonna go into and i'm gonna put the green which is lemon lemon or lemon in spanish i love that they're like spanish i love it it's great it's great i love it all right so i'm just gonna go into a flat brush and i'm going into lemon and i'm gonna put that all on over here and under here we're gonna do a little interesting little thing we're gonna make christmas and then we're going to go underneath here. Make a little interesting little thing. I actually like it more Halloween-y than I thought it would, which is great. I love it. I'm also going to go into... I am a little bit of the Pinte, uh, which is here. And I'm going to put that in between the green and the red just to make it a blend a little bit better yeah so a little bit over here i guess we should use the brown shades just because just because we got them so let's go into we're gonna go into carme carme asada and carme asada come on dude i can say it white why am i trying to say everything with an accent like oh that is a beautiful beautiful color I'm just gonna go underneath here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. Just gorgeous shade. And then I'm gonna go in with Polo, Pol El Polo, Polio, Polo, Polo. I'm gonna go in with Polio, which is chicken. And I'm gonna just put that underneath the eye. Oh wow, that's a lot. That was a lot more pigmented than I thought it was. How? It's so pretty. It's still really pretty. The grain is questionable, but don't doubt me. Trust the process. So, I just want to show you... I will cut the crease on this side, but I just want to show you how pigmented these are. Like, I want to show you how pigmented they are. So, I'm going to go in with Red Onions, which is this gorgeous, like, highlight purple shade. And we're just going to go in the half of the lid. Do you see that? Like, it is just... Like, you do not need to cut the crease with these. These You can just put these on, and you can go and be fine. Like, they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shades. We're going to go into Pico de Gallo. And we're going to put that, which looks very similar to Carrot in the cake palette, I will say. It really looks like that. It really does look like that. Yeah. It might be a little bit different, but do you see that? Like, you don't even have to cut the crease, guys. Like, it's so great. Like, their shadows are just, like, amazing. And look at that. That's, like, a beautiful little... We're gonna go into that inner corner with guacamole. And you will see what I was trying to do. See what I was trying to do? You all doubted me. That shade is gorgeous. This is my favorite out of this palette. So now on this side, we're going to do this paint palette. We are going to do this paint palette. And I am just 
bubbling to use it. I don't know what to do because we have a very like kind of like my tiki room like look over here so should we do some cool colors to like yeah let's do some cool colors so I think I'm gonna go into this royal blue color right here and we're just gonna put that right there that is a beautiful shade beautiful matte shade love it love it it working really really well very very pretty very very pretty all right so far so good so I am gonna use this brush which is the brush that came with and it's like flat I don't know I don't know let's let's try it so I'm going to go into this purple color here that's just purple matte and we're just gonna put it here see what happens okay okay I don't know what this brush is doing for me. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go into this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go into navy blue. I'm gonna go into navy blue and I'm gonna put that here. That is a pretty shade. Those look beautiful together. I'm really digging those together. It's really pretty really pretty. We're going to go back in with the royal blue. So we are going to cut the crease. So I'm going to go cut the crease off camera. Let's be wild. Let's be crazy. We're wild and crazy on this camera. We're going to go into light green and we're going to put that on here. Yeah, I was right. It has that like blue inflex so it's really pretty. Look at that. That is pretty. We're gonna go like galaxy realness on this eye and then just like beautifulness. It kind of reminds me of my like Juvia's Place review, but honestly, like a lot more fun because of the shimmer shades. Just saying, no shade to Juvia's Place, but I'm having a lot more fun. <laughs> Even though I'm sweating, I think you can see like the sweat start to fessed up because I can't have my fan on. Arizona! I can't wait. Why didn't I start my YouTube channel in the winter? Why did I have to start it in the summer? Oh yeah, quarantine. That's why. Actually, I did I did start it when it was like cooler. So, get on me. Alright, and then for the other side, we're gonna be wild and crazy. We're gonna be wild and crazy and we're actually gonna go into... Sapphire, which is this beautiful color. So then, that allows us to put turquoise, that's people, it allows me to put turquoise over here. Alright, and now the look is completely done and we are ready for the swatches. Put the gloss. I want to put the glosses on with just my lips just so you can see what it is. So this is my lip color, um, just normal. And I'm gonna go into tequila first. So if you just wanna gloss on top of your actual lips, that's what it looks like. It looks really, really pretty. Like I'm very, very impressed. Let's go to the next one. And then between each take, I'm just gonna take a beauty blender, do the coconut margarita gloss. You can see what that looks like. That's really, really pretty. The strawberry margarita gloss. It has that gold inflex. It smells really, really good. <laughs> I'm in love. Donut glaze. Ooh. Looks like that is so pretty. Like, that looks beautiful. Like, that looks really, really, really pretty. Whew. My lips are feeling it. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are going to go for hot chocolate next. Hey, I want Starbucks now because of this one. This one and then this is what this one looks like. Very, very pretty. So it does come off, obviously. It's a gloss. Like, it's going to come off. I'm sorry. Like, I hate people who are like, it comes off on my finger. It's a gloss. Like, it's uh, supposed to come off on it the person that you're kissing. 
if you don't want to, if you wear into work and you don't want it to come off on whatever the hell you're doing, wear a mat because I wear a gloss because I want to kiss people. <laughs> the next one is Caramel Frap. Now, is I'm definitely going to want Starbucks after this. Yes, it is stunning. And it, the fragrance isn't really uh, a lot, so if you're worried about the fragrance, I recommend this one. Because, like, it doesn't really... It doesn't really smell, like, as much as the other one. So, s'mores. 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 Let's see what happens. Ooh. That is really bold and really pretty. I feel like this would be great with, like, a red lip, too. Like, a, like a dark red lip. Ugh, I want fall to come so bad. This will look so great in fall. Is cinnamon. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. This is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. For like a neutral look, it would look really, really pretty with. The last is pecan pie. Oh, I could really go for some pie right now. Oh, the smell is so good. This is really, really pretty. I love it. I love it a lot. It's great. The last one is the one with the mirror, which is churro. Alright, let's see it. Let's see it. Yes, hunty, yes. This mirror is so handy to have. Alright, we're gonna put a gloss on top because, yes, we have to. I'm gonna go with glitter gloss. I'm gonna go with the, the coconut margarita gloss. Really nice little, little matte moment. Really, really nice. It's not sticky. I guess now we're gonna do final thoughts. I will be reviewing the paint palette. So the paint palette was really great. I love the pigmentation of the shadows. I thought they were really great. I thought the shimmer shades were also really, really nice. And I love the variety. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you need to with this. I love the packaging. I love the message. I love everything about this palette. This palette is amazing. Street Taco Palette, not the actual taco palette, though Glamlet, if you wanna put me on the PR list, please do so. I love you guys, and I will always, I always, I always love your message. So Street Taco is great pet like color story. The colors in the Street Taco palette are really, really great, and they're great for any like tropical looks, for summer or just in general. Um, it really looks like a taco. Glamlet is always a very consistently great brand and they are a brand that if you are trying to learn how to do makeup or if you're trying to learn how to do like anything wise I would recommend them to beginners because their shadows are very uh, forgiving and they are very high quality they are the best on the market in my opinion um, and they are very affordable um, including I have a discount code if you put exotics into um, Glamlet, you'll get 10% off. So if you want to save yourself some money, you can use my discount code. The reason it's exotics is because I um, used to have another channel um, uh, with my friend Nicole, and we used to be a K-pop channel, and we used to call people exotics because that was the name that EXO, the K-pop band EXO, like the fandom wanted to be called before XOL. So we would call them exotics because that was what we called them. So I do not have that code as Little Miss Katie. It is exotic. So go ahead and use it for 10% off. Uh, tell me what you think of the palettes. Um, let me know down in the comments down below if you ever heard of Glamlet or if you, you know, want to try them out because everything in their line is consistently great. Um, they even have like brow products that I've used for like ever, they have highlighters, they have, um, they have eyeliner that's really great. Like with that being said guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you disliked it, go ahead and hit that dislike button twice. If you like me, please subscribe. And if you wanna know when I upload, go ahead and hit the bell to be part of my bell squad and yeah guys with that being said i'm katie once again and i will see y'all in the next video stay safe out there